Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the Seed to Harvest series brought to you by SeedsHereNow.com where you can use our coupon code SOHN10 to score 10% off of your order. So uh, sorry there's been a little bit of a lapse in these in this series, as you can clearly see, these males are flowering and actually dumping pollen, which I gotta be careful because I'm gonna go into my female room in a minute here. But what you're looking at is the Jilly Skittles crosses, which are a cross of Jilly Bean, which is our Jilly Bean that we actually won the Adam Dunn Show Invitational with last year, uh, and the um, and Black Rose, right? So, which is a, a Skittles bag seed, I believe. So, uh, Ethos, or Colin from Ethos did those, um, handed us some of those seeds. I gave him the Jilly, so uh, he made those crosses. Now I'm growing them out. We're testing everything out, seeing how it goes. And then we also have Original Diesel from Strawberry Fields, um, which you can also get on seedsharenow.com. So, these are the males, and what we did is we went ahead and sent our um, samples off when they were little seedlings. We sent them off to um, Delta Leaf Labs, right? And we got all of the, we, we basically sex tested them and found out which ones were males and females. We were able to separate the males from the females early. I took all of the males, um, at least like Jilly Skittles right here. There's five of them in here. There's actually four because I, uh, I messed up and I accidentally put one female in here, which I'm about to pull this one out, put it back in the main flower room, which is fine. But, um, but yeah, basically, what had happened was um, I took all the males and planted like five males in each of these pots. Four of the original diesels here in the front, five of these um, uh, Jilly Skittles and five Jilly Skittles right here. And basically started flowering these a lot earlier than the other ones. So they would uh, we'd be able to pick a male and collect some pollen and basically um, recreate some of these seeds so that we can have them for preservation, right? And I'm also gonna be doing some breeding uh, if we have any standout males. I'm gonna be tossing some of this original diesel pollen around and really seeing what's going on uh, with that. There's actually a lot of trichomes on this one, really cool. Um, so we'll get some close-ups of all these as well. But these are the males. Like I said, uh, the cool thing about some of these is like these Jilly Skittles. Uh, <clears throat> Some of these plants, like this one in particular right here, you might not be able to see it right now, it has nine blades on the leaves. So instead of the traditional seven, it's got like nine, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, same with this one over here. A couple of these Jilly Skittles, it seems to be just a trait that is going on with a lot of these, which I think is pretty cool that you can see all of that expressed throughout this. Um, these ones are about, I don't know, two and a half, three weeks into flower right now. Um, Actually, probably a little bit more because the uh, the other ones are about 18 days. Um, so these are these are probably about three weeks into flower right now. These males are. Um, we're going to be collecting some of the pollen and pollinating some of our other plants with these, and basically preserving genetics and passing some of these on. So pretty stoked on that. Um, these are the males. Basically, you can clearly tell they're males. I mean, they got like pollen sacs dropping everywhere. Uh, these are under some optic ones right now, and they're in our gorilla grow tent which the people over at Gorilla, um, Gorilla Tent hooked us up with. Um, this, this tent is super badass. You can always use our coupon code SCHOOL over there and score 10% off of any Gorilla Tent or Kind LED. So, um, so yeah, basically these are the males. Looking forward to seeing which ones are the strongest, most vigorous. Um, we'll talk a little bit about male selection, but essentially what I'm looking for is something, I just don't want to touch them too much because uh, I just got pollen all over myself. But we're looking for something that stinks when we rub the stem. Ideally, with these males, we're looking for some of them with trichomes on them, right? Um, like resin glands. We want visible resin with these males because you can always add yield to plants, but um, you want them to be really frosty and, uh, from what I've heard and seen. Traditionally, a resinous male is gonna pass on that trait to a female, and that's what we're looking for with these males here, is we're looking for something with a lot of resin on it. So we'll be taking our microscope, our you know, little jeweler's loop, checking these out really closely. I said, you know, when I'm not gonna be going into the female flower room, because I don't wanna knock this pollen everywhere. Um, but these are really cool. You can just kind of see uh, all of the pollen sacs, all that good stuff on these. Uh, and then just a cool variety of males. Some are stretchier, some are shorter and stockier. Um, this one, you know, it's, it's like stretched out a little more, really fluffy, probably not the best breeder. This one doesn't look, um, you know, not a ton of resin on this one at all really. There's a little bit, but um, you know, give it a little stem rub and uh, see what we can smell. It smells, it smells pretty good, honestly, but uh, what I'm really looking for is resin and a stinky, stinky male. And also if we can, ideally there's like thick, thick clusters 
Um, these were started flowering pretty young, so they didn't really have a ton of a chance to mature, but like this one right here in front of me, I can definitely see resin all along these. So this might be a really good one to breed with. I can see some resin glands on here just from the light. Um, looking good, looking really good. So that's the scoop with the males. Now let's go ahead and jump on over to the flower room and check out all the females and I'll show you what I did there. And I'm here in the main flower room right now. So over to my right, I have a bunch of um, flowering females that are a little bit further along than these seedlings here. Uh, and again, these are like original diesel. Uh, these ones right here in particular, this is original diesel. Um, then we got some Jilly Skittles right in front of me, like these big ones over here. Um, back here, I got some smaller, like original diesels right here. Uh, and you can see, basically most of them have two plants, or they all have two except for this one. So what I did is to not have to veg them and get them super big, is all I did is I just took them and uh, grew them from seed and basically put them in here and flipped them pretty early. So they're pretty lanky. They, I didn't do much training. What I'm really looking for is just like, I'm pheno hunting, right? And I wanna get it done quick. So all I'm doing is I'm basically taking all of these, flowering them really quickly from seed. Um, you know, I maybe vegged them like three weeks or something like that. So maybe vegged them about three weeks. They got a little stunted when I went out of town. So uh, that kind of took a week away. But you can see they're, they're really beefing up. Um, very lanky, but that's because they, uh, they're stretching right now and starting to fill out. And I had them kind of far away from the light. So it is what it is. What I'm really looking for is bud structure and uh, you know terpenes, resin, all that good stuff. So we're just gonna be pheno hunting these females right here. Uh, and they, they were just flipped into flower maybe, um, you know, maybe a week ago. So they're just now stretching. They'll start to fill in in a little bit here. I got them under a thousand watt HPS double ender now. They were um, a little under lighted at first, which is, was kind of a problem. But then we got a power upgrade just yesterday. So I was able to, uh, you know, pop an AC in here, crank up some uh, high intensity lights. And uh, we we're actually having to run our LEDs at a little bit lower power because it's getting a little warmer and the temperature wasn't quite where we wanted it to be. Um, so I had to dim all my LEDs down and uh, basically deal with that temperature. So everything's been on a little bit of lower lighting recently, but it's fine, it was just the first week. These will pack on the weight very shortly here. And um, the winners, I'm basically going to re -veg, right? So we'll harvest the whole plants of the ones that are not the keepers. I'll re -veg the keeper, we'll take some clones and we'll be good to go. So we've got these, uh, you know, some original diesels, Jilly Skittles are really blowing up. These things are getting huge. Um, nice and stinky. Really, really stinky. Smells a lot like the Jilly, which I'm really excited for. So um, that's pretty much the update. Nothing much happening right now with these, except for they are transitioning into flower. They are pretty young still, so they weren't showing their sex when we flipped them. Now they are. So they're just starting to show some pre-flowers on here, which is great. And um, from here, we are gonna go ahead and just kind of let them go and keep them flowering. So that's it for this Seed to Harvest series. Again, this was brought to you by SeedsHereNow.com. Uh, use our coupon code SOHN10, score 10% off. And um, we are growing Jilly Skittles and Original Diesel. So really stoked for these. Uh, we'll be posting weekly updates since they're finally in flower and you'll be able to follow along. Uh, I'm guessing they're probably gonna get about, you know, this tall, maybe. Uh, most of them will. So, Really looking forward to that and seeing some awesome uh, flower come off. These are both new varieties. I've never tried them before. Super stoked. So thanks for watching. Uh, got any questions? Drop them in the uh, comment box and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.